What's going on YouTube? Michael Harris here coming at you today with a video on how to add a picture slider to your funnel. Holy grail. Alright guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a picture slider to your funnel. And this is completely free, it doesn't cost anything. There's a website that I'm going to show you that gives you the code on how to add this into your funnel. It literally takes about 30 seconds to do. Reasons why you'd want to do this is add in a picture slider so that people can slide photos like across their phone or on your desktop. Also it can minimize the image elements that you have in your funnel, make it look a lot more clean and professional. I'll show you a couple of different tweaks and hacks that you can do to design it. So all you're going to need is a ClickFunnels account. If you don't have a, an account, be sure to check the links below and I'm actually giving away a free six-figure funnel that if you click below, you can sign up for a free two-week trial and that funnel will also load right into your account so that you don't even have to do anything and you can start making sales today. Also, you'll go ahead and go to photorama.io and that will be the website where we get our free code. I'll show you that here in just a second. Be sure to please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and get started with our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add in a picture slider to our ClickFunnels sales pages. As you can see, I am in the dashboard area of the funnel, and I also have another window pulled up with at photorama.io. Again, that's F-O-T-O-R-A-M-A dot io it's a completely free website that gives us the code to set up this slider um, this is really quick and easy as long as you follow this step by step and i will show you how to do this so what we need to do first is that photorama.io we're going to go ahead and just copy this code in to our funnel just go ahead and select that highlight it and copy i'm not sure why but it says that this goes in the head tag of your page this is actually inaccurate for every time i've tried it, it put it in the footer code section, as I will show you here in just a minute. So after you copy this, we're gonna go ahead and go back to ClickFunnels, and then we're gonna open our editor for the squeeze page or whatever page you wanna put this on. You can put this anywhere in your funnel on any page. It doesn't matter, but I'm gonna show you how I do this for my e-commerce funnels. And so once we're in the editor here, all we need to do is go up to settings and drop down to tracking code and then add this in the footer section right here. So we're just gonna click footer and we're gonna go ahead and paste. Then just click out. And now what we need to do is add a custom HTML element. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to elements at the top right here, go to add element. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see custom JS slash HTML. We can just drag this into our funnel here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put mine right above this image, or I guess drop it right here for now. And once it's in, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it up here, get it right at the top. Again, this is just where I want it. You can put it anywhere on your funnel and it will do the same exact thing as I'm showing you here. Okay, so now that we have our custom HTML element where we want it, we are gonna go ahead and go back to Photorama. The nice thing about Photorama is they give you a couple of options for completely free. Um, and a, a cup, by a couple options, I mean a couple of different looks. So if you want to just have little dots that don't show previews of the pictures, then you can go ahead and just select this code. If you want to customize it a little bit more, you can scroll down to configure Photorama down here. I'm gonna show you what I use because I think it looks a little bit more professional. You can use any of these and all these steps are gonna be exactly the same. I like to use the one that says thumbnails because it shows you Basically this right here is what we're gonna have on our funnel. And you can see that there's little thumbnail previews of what photos are coming. So let's go ahead and add this to our funnel now. All you need to do is go ahead and copy this, highlight that and copy it. And then come back to ClickFunnels and open up your custom HTML element here. And we're gonna select open code editor and we're just gonna paste this in here. 
Okay, and I think if we come back, we actually do have to go HTML. Basically what we need to do is just remove this. This is just kind of a placeholder here. Just delete that, delete this, and you should be left with something like this. And now all we need to do is copy this and paste it for however many pictures we have. So let's say you have five images. We'll go ahead and just paste this five times, or I guess three times to make five of these. Okay, and that's five. So then now what we need to do is get the links for our images. So there's several ways you can do this. If you have it already opened on your domain, then you can just paste the image address link into this. But for this example, I'm just going to use this image right here. And we're just going to take the link right from ClickFunnels. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this image already. And you can see this image link here is what's hosting that file. So I'm just going to copy this link. Again, just take whatever link you need from wherever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where it's from. It can be any link and that hosts any image. And then just come back to the custom HTML element, open code editor, and we're just going to paste this in between the quotations. I'm just going to paste this five times just to show you as an example. You're obviously going to do however many images you have and different links for each um, image source tag. And once it looks something like this, you can go ahead and just click out and click save. And I actually am going to just go ahead and delete this image element just so we don't. Okay, once you delete your elements and you have it everything set up every way you want, you go ahead and just click save again. Okay, and now we should have a slider here when we open preview. Let's go ahead and open it in an incognito window. Okay, and as you can see, it goes ahead and loads our first image that we inserted. Obviously, these are all the same, but it'll show the first one that you insert as the main image. And then you can see here, you can slide through all these windows, or you can select each one individually to hop around. And in my opinion, this makes your funnel look way more professional. Obviously, instead of having a bunch of single images all the way through everything, you can just have them all right here. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and have a good day. All right, so that was a video on how to add your picture slider to your sales funnel. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.